<laughs> the worst job I ever had was I worked at the Swift turkey processing plant in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. I had to I would be handed a 50 pound bag of semi-frozen turkey thighs, mm -hmm. a pair of scissors, and I would stand in a semi-freezing room and trim the fat off the turkey thighs with the scissors and dump the fat into one bag and dump, drop the thighs into another. My favorite and least favorite thing that ever happened in a, in a job that I wasn't super passionate about was when I was waitressing in mm -hmm. um, a, a restaurant in LA, a French place that was nice, and um, there was this uh, regular French lady that would come in, and she was always kind of like, meh, 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 and whatever. <laughs> um, I, I just waited on her because it was my job. Um, but then one day she brought her kids and she was changing her baby at the table, like, no, like not on the table but beside in the thing. Oh, dirty dirty. Dirty. <laughs> and disgusting. so she took the the she wiped, and I was trying to, I look away, um, and not judge her because, you know, who am I? I don't know. It might be like a cultural difference. You're too nice. <laughs> uh, and then she calls me over and before I know it, she plops the dirty diaper in my hand as like a, throw this away for me. Um, so that happened and I and I had to do it. It was my job. I mean, I guess I could have stormed out, but you gotta, you gotta work hard for the money. I was working at a Treats. restaurant in New York City in Manhattan. It was called Jerusalem Grill. And I was working there for a month, and I was renting a place in Harlem. Whoa. And yeah, it was nasty. It was my first place in the states. I just came back from. I just came from Israel, mm -hmm. and I was working at this place for a month. And every day, every week, I would come to the owner, and I would be like, "Where's my money, yo?" And he'd be like, "I don't have it right now. I'll give it to you at the end of the week." And another week would go, and another week would go. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, I owed money for rent, and I came to him, and I was like, "Yo." What's up? And just like that, that's what I did. <laughs> She'd and seen it on MTV before. He, and he she literally looks at me and he goes, sorry, we're closing shop, we're going under, and I don't have the money. And I, I, my first job was when I was 12 years old and I was working in the business, singing and acting. Um, they had this one movie, uh, um, I'm not gonna say the name. Uh, <laughs> a couple of years ago, uh, we, it was it was it was it was me with uh, like six other girls. Uh, I was very excited at first. I was like, "Wow, you know, I'm the only guy there!" And then all of a sudden, they all ganged up against me, and it was it was it was it was it was pretty uh, it was pretty intense. The other really terrible job I had was I worked at a. Um, There's more. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I worked at a, a skeet shooting range when I was 16 years old, mm -hmm. where I would be underground in a cement like little room. Taking, you had your own bunker. Taking these clay, pig, clay these pigeons and putting uh -huh. them on this spring-loaded thing, trying to get my hand away in time before it would, it would go, while people shot shotguns over my head. Well, you look like you you came out untouched, so yeah, you're okay. I, I made it. I made it. You okay. You're a survivor. I am a survivor. It's hard right now. It's going to be hard for a while, but I love you a lot. I've never really had much of a family. My friends are my family. I love you guys! <laughs> Now parents have friends like this. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Underemployed, new series premieres Tuesday, October 16th at 10.